citizens of the Reject Nation, it's me, Tara Erickson, alongside... What is your name again? Greg. Oh, God. What's the last name, though? Alba. It's Alba. Alba Albertsons. That's all I got to think of. Today, we are watching the SpongeBob movie. Have you seen it? Of course not. I haven't even seen the show. Me neither. <laughs> same page in it. <laughs> We're, We're I, same. I wonder if it's going to drastically affect our viewing experience. <laughs> We're both just sitting here silently not laughing. Like, I don't get any of this. <laughs> is this going to be all inside jokes that we don't get? I think it's going to be a fun experience experience. Um, I mean, if they make a movie, they got to make it somewhat adjustable for those who haven't seen the show, right? All right. Well, we're diving in, you guys. So please don't forget to leave a like and a comment and also ring the bell. Ring the bell when you subscribe because you definitely can subscribe. And don't forget that if you guys are a Patreon on Patreon, you get to watch a full length reaction and watch along with us, with me and Greg. Like we watch the whole thing. You sit there and you're like, wow, it's like you're watching at home with us. It's a cool experience. So get on top of that if you're not already a patron. And now I say super sexy something. Oh, you were so perfect up until the, so perfect. Do we, do we I was to? like, every time someone's handed the intro, they're always butchering. I was like, Tara's doing better than everyone. <laughs> oh, no. Let's roll the, just roll, the, roll the real rejects intro. Roll, roll it, roll it, roll the roll clip. It. Are you confused by the seagulls, Greg? What, what was a what? No, I thought it was like a animated movie. Oh. <laughs> Dingy off the port bow! Dingy off the port bow! Gotta love me some pirates. Dingy off the... <laughs> Gold. I never thought I'd see it in my own eye. Take it to the SpongeBob movie! Oh. <laughs> I was actually really invested in that intro. It's probably really effective in a movie theater. <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Oh, all right. SpongeBob Square Pants. I mean, it sounds different in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the theaters, you freaks. Yes. Good thing no one sat in those front two rows. Yeah, those are the worst rows to sit in. Back row is where it's at. Aisle seat. A story begins in Bikini Bottom's popular undersea eatery, the Krusty Krab Restaurant. Krusty Krab. <laughs> Talk to me, Krabs. It started out as a simple <laughs> order. Krabby <laughs> <with> cheese. <laughs> no cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Eugene. I'm going in. <laughs> I'm the manager of this establishment. Everything's gonna be just fine. I'm really scared here, man. You got a name? <laughs> Phil? You got a family, Phil? <laughs> I want you to do me a favor, Phil. Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so dumb. I love it. Order up. <laughs> It was all a dream. Today's the grand opening ceremony for the Krusty Krab 2, where Mr. Krabs will announce the new manager. This is not going to go the way you want. <laughs> well, let's ask my wall of 374 consecutive Employee of the Month Award. Nice. Oh, big bathroom? I want that bathroom. Oh, okay. All right. It's actually cool. pretty inventive. Yeah, I support that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. We got a double. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh my gosh. This reminds me of like Mr. Bean. <laughs> that's me in the shower. <laughs> That's Greg and John in the show. <laughs> I just wanted to say I'll be thanking you in my managerial acceptance speech today. Get up! <laughs> Tonight after my big promotion, we're gonna party till we're purple. Yeah, I love being purple! <laughs> <laughs> 
This is so hyper. Uh. Oh, I'm a goofy goober, yeah. You're a goofy goober, yeah. Hey, look who made the ceremony. I got a little surprise for you. <laughs> Please tell me there's goofy goober ice cream somewhere. Krusty Krab Restaurant. For years, the only place to get a delicious and mouth-watering Krabby Patty. That is a great animated-looking burger. Longtime owner Mr. Krabs is opening a new restaurant called the Krusty Krab 2. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Oh my god, right next door. Hello, I like money. What inspired mm. you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Money. Capitalism. <laughs> Krabs is being interviewed by Perch Perkins, and I've never even had one customer. 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 Well, it might just be the marketing, buddy. I just mapped the floors. Oh, Karen, my computer wife. <laughs> uh. The secret to crab success, the formula for the Krabby Patty. Then people would line up to eat at my restaurant. There are some high stakes here. I've exhausted every evil plan in my filing cabinet from A to Y. The letter after Y. Plan Z. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's diabolical. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's that was clever. <laughs> <laughs> and I will rule the world. All hail Brighton. All hail Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> to announce the name of our new manager. Huh. Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah. Ow. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be the squid? The name you all know. It starts with an S. It's me. Please welcome our new manager, Squidward Tentacles. Ah, I knew it. Yeah. Better luck next time, buddy. <laughs> That's like that Oscar upset with La La Land. This is like Zoolander. You didn't get the job. What? Why? You want employee of the month like, like all the time. 365 days, a million, million times. He's more uh, mature than you. I'm not mature. I mean this in the nicest of ways. Character are coming in. But there's a word for what you are, and that word is uh, dingaling. Wing nut. A knucklehead McSpazitron. Ah. <laughs> Big spazitron. <laughs> and to be a manager, you have to be a man. You understand? I guess so, Mr. Krabs. Just uh, open up your own burger joint. But is he mature enough to do that? Uh. <laughs> There's adult humor in this. Did I miss something? Poor squid didn't get a party. I get the world, yeah. I get the world. I don't need to watch a whole show. Multiple seasons. <laughs> yeah. Undersea castle of King Neptune. You have confessed to the crime of touching the king's crown. But it's my job, your highness. I'm the royal crown polisher. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. 20 years in the dungeon it is. You're free to go. Bless you, Princess Mindy. What a good princess. I wish you'd try a little love and compassion instead of these harsh punishments. Yes. That would be nice. Square! Uh, the draconian way of rule is not the way to go. This crown entitles the one who wears it to be in charge of the sea. <laughs> Wear it until you learn how to rule with an iron fist. Like your father. <laughs> your crown? What the? Oh... That's no good. You cannot rule a sea without a crown. But the crown is useless without a king. I don't know. I feel like the crown does it all. There's oh, Goofy Goobers. Goofy Goobers. I want to go to here. This place looks amazing. Oh, I'm a Goofy Goober, yeah. Oh my god, that's a serpent. <laughs> the nut, nut bar. bar. <laughs> Get it together, old boy. <laughs> I'll just stop thinking about it. That's called denial. I actually feel a little better. I don't even remember why I was sad. Hey, it's the new Krusty Krab 2 manager. You didn't get the uh, memo? Uh, no, he just set the place on fire and ran <laughs> away asking if they saw his butt. 
<laughs> Maybe with most desserts. I'm feeling better already. Whatever. Let's get another round over here. Uh, oh no. This is too much. Two more, please. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> I was not prepared for how kinetic this would be. Hey, get up. Hey, come on, buddy. I want to go home. Come on, pal. Oh, oh no. my goodness. Oh, he whoa. Looks, oh, whoa. Does he also have pink eyes? He looks like so hungover. In the morning. Go scrape up your friend and get going. Let. Uh, friend? You said eight o'clock. I'm late for work. Did you word that doesn't respect you? I'm Eugene Krabs, your heinous. You have stolen the royal crown, you cannot deny. Are you left one damning piece of evidence at the scene? I stole your crown. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Krabs, this is Clay. The guy uh. you sold Neptune's crown to, I sold it to a... Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. No. <laughs> Which is now in Chill City, goodbye. Uh. That was the master plan. Before I turn this conniving crustacean into fish meal, who here has anything to say about Eugene Krabs? I've got something! <laughs> oh no! Uh, I love this! Oh my god, yes! Please tell King Neptune all about me! Oh, yeah. I am working Mr. Krabs for that many... <laughs> I now realize that he's a great big jerk! I deserve that manager's job! <laughs> Huh. Anyone else? No? Well then. You gotta have an alibi, man. How could you not have an alibi? Everywhere's on fire! <laughs> and now, Eugene Krabs, you will die! Hey, he sobered up. Very quickly. My crown is a symbol of my king-like authority. And uh, between you and me, my hair is thinning mm. a bit. I'm sure it's not that noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is so wild. If I went to get your crown back, no one who's gone to Shell City has ever returned. You're just a kid. He's a sponge. Uh, He's willing to risk his life to find your crown and save his boss. But daughter, I please, father. Oh my god, that's Scarlett Johansson's voice. It took me that long to figure it out. Be back here with my crown in exactly ten days. You can do it in nine, eight, seven, six. <laughs> what are you doing? Until then, the crab shall remain frozen where he now stands. No, oh, wait, I'm begging you. Who oh, turn on the AC? Ah, Mr. Krabs. <sighs> you didn't hear any of this. There's a giant cyclops who guards the outskirts of the city and preys on innocent sea creatures. Don't let him catch you, because if he does, he'll take you back to his lair. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so excited. Take this. <laughs> What's in here? It's a magical bag of winds. You're hot. Uh. Open the bag of winds and you'll be blown back home. Mindy! I'm coming. There is such a frenetic energy about this. You've got nothing to worry about. Your life is in our hands. <laughs> I love how hardcore reliant on this is a visual comedy it is. It's really, really impressive. <laughs> like the comedy so much of the editing too. Oh yeah, it's great. They do a really good job with pacing in this movie. Oh no, that's amazing. On a paddy wagon? Steel belted pickles. Yes. Real leather interior. And under the hood, a fuel injected French fryer with dual overhead grease traps. Oh my god. Man, if you could get an air fryer, this should be a real car. This should be a car. real car. That'd be great yeah, advertising. Yeah, like what? Well, I'd uh -oh. like to hang around, but I've got crabby patties to make. Over at the chub bucket? Oh. I will say that the chum bucket is very dirty and I wouldn't eat a sandwich there. He's such a diabolical genius. Why is he trying to run a restaurant? Yeah, he should be like stealing creatures under the sea and like stashing them in the chum bucket. Do I need to watch like, a whole show to understand? We're off to get King Neptune's crown in Shell City. Lloyd, take off your hat in respect. Respect for the dead! <laughs> 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 Think gonna last 10 seconds over the county line. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Yeah. Oh. Out of the car, fellas. Uh-oh. 
Oh, no. They Man. barely had it. Such a cool paddy wagon. Oh, wow. Oh, he cleaned it up at least. He can find it in me a secret wish. Sell the Krabby Patty in my absence at the chum bucket, he said. Don't <laughs> let the flame die out. <laughs> Music is a nice touch. <laughs> Now and you get a free chill bucket bucket helmet with every purchase. Bucket helmets for everyone. It's just a bucket. Uh, my sensors indicate that they're going after the crown. I've already hired someone to take care of those two. Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> I'll kill you. I'll kill you, fool. Evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh. whoa, that's violent. Do they never talk again? Oh, that's no good. Right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we must be close by now. This is like Reese Witherspoon in that one movie where she has to hike a lot. <laughs> Shell City's only five days away. I oh. wish we still had our car. SpongeBob, look! Our car! <laughs> These cutaways, man, uh, they're really good at editing. Oh, there it is, Pat. <laughs> the key. Now, how are we gonna get it? I get HP Lovecraft vibes. Beat him in pool. Can I have everybody's attention? Uh, I have to use the bathroom. Uh, right over there. Uh, <laughs> stupid contact. Oh my goodness. It's a face. Patrick, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> you should be getting keys and driving, but you know what? I support this bubble party. It looks like a lot of fun. They're trying to say they're just kids, but I'm pretty sure they suffer with the attention deficit of hyperactive <laughs> disorder, right? Yes. Who blew this bubble? You all know the rules. All bubble babies will be beaten senseless by every one. Oh my god. No. Time for the test. No baby can resist singing along to this. Patrick. Oh, uh, don't do it. Don't sing to it. DJ, turn it up louder. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, that's so great. I'm a goofy goober. Yeah. <laughs> You're a goober. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man! Goofy, goofy, goober, goober, yeah! Uh, what? Oh, saved by the Siamese twins. Looks like we got ourselves a double baby. Oh man! Oh man! There, that... You can't survive that. Guess what what is got? the uh, commentary on beating up Siamese people that they're doing here? But at least they got the key. Well, I got it at the Chum Bucket. Plankton's giving them away free with every Krabby Patty. Is there some type of mind control thing? You may have hoodwinked everyone else in this backwater town, but you can't fool me. I listen to public radio. Uh, he's an NPR guy. You set up Mr. Krabs. You stole the crown so Neptune would freeze him and you could finally get your stubby little paws on the Krabby Patty formula. Ah, uh, he gotcha. But you made one fatal mistake. You messed with my paycheck. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now activating helmet brain control. Oh, you called yes. it. Yes. Okay. All right, chum bucket. You have to really rely on everyone what really the? obsessively wearing these. Y yeah, like, do they not take them off? What? Okay. Whoa. Uh. How do they see? There's no way out. Road's getting kind of bumpy here. Hey, look, free ice cream. <laughs> it's a setup. It's a trap. Wait a minute, SpongeBob. Chocolate. <laughs> 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 okay, Patrick, let's uh, oh. let go now. I said let go, please. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. 
Are they in a mouth or sort? Whoa! Yes. Whoa! Holy junk. Oh. <laughs> Teeth can't be that sharp then. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, he just blew a bubble, so... Wow, one punch. That's pretty far. Ooh, right in the tug boat. Oh, Titanic stuff. No more boat. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Circle of life. Horrors of the trenches. Mm -hmm. Where's the road? Road. This is where we find out if they can swim. <laughs> oh boy. Hey SpongeBob, look. Here's the way down. Ooh. Well, we're not gonna get the crown standing here. On to Shell City. The stairs talk. I'm going home, Patrick. But what about Mr. Krabs? We'll never survive in that trench. This is man's country. But you're gonna die either way. Show us your man and go down in that scary trench. Pull your pants up, Patrick. We're going home. But you can't go home. I knew it. Mindy. Oh, Mindy is her name. I heard enough. Did you see my underwear? <laughs> no, Patrick. Did you want to? Ah, uh, Patrick, no. <laughs> Or should I say, Planktopolis? What is this? A magic mirror. This monument celebrating my glory is it gonna build itself? Move faster! Anarchy. Squidward? Sandy? Uh. Mrs. Tuff? Oh no. Even Gary. Aww. Aww. But we're just, hey, it doesn't matter if you're kids. And what's so wrong with being a kid anyway? Kids rule. Yeah. I mean, kind of. I mean, keeping that childlike in you is the thing that sparks imagination and creativity. Guys. <laughs> Guys. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, why? Why? I guess I'll just have to turn you into men. Good old reverse psychology. With my mermaid magic. But because they're so childlike, they'll be able to convince themselves that it works. Yeah, they're susceptible to it. I'm with you on that. They're very malleable. I command the two of you to turn into men. I don't feel any... Oh my gosh, Patrick, you have a mustache! <laughs> so now that you're men, can you make it to Shell City? Oh, no. Uh, oh, I don't think it's working as well as she thought it would. We're invincible! Yeah. I never said that! Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Why did we jump over the edge instead of taking the stairs? Because we're invincible. Uh. Oh, good. Nice. Good, good. Menland. We're safe and sound at the bottom of this trench. <laughs> oh. Consistent visual gags, man. Now that we're men, we can do anything. Now that we're men, <laughs> we never had a chance to be with kids. No, no, no. But take a look at what the man is doing. You know what? This feels psychedelic. Yeah, I was like, do people get high and then watch SpongeBob? <laughs> yeah, this feels very driven. <laughs> uh. We can't buy. Oh my gosh, they have an army now. You lost your army because you were a meanie. Are they sure the crown's in Shell City? It could have just been a mislead. I've been hired to exterminate you. Got me and my friend here in a good mood today, so I'm gonna let you off with a warning. <laughs> awesome wrath of our mustaches. You mm. mean these? Oh no. This Dennis is a dream crusher, man. 
Plankton was very specific. For some reason, he wanted me to step on you. Now, that way you'll never find out that he stole the crown! Wow. Oh. This guy's revealing everything. Perhaps I've said too much. You sure have, Dennis. He's so sharp. They're kind of cool boots. I'd be into wearing those. I love this job! <laughs> Bigger boots! Uh-huh. Oh! Uh, that's clever. Awesome. That's really clever. That's the cyclops cool. to come around like that. What? Where does he take these? Why does he want them? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is he gonna do like a science experiment? He's he's a marine biologist. He's not hooked up to anything. How does he get back to the surface? Great question. Artificially colored rocks. Oh no, they're in a tank. Get some fish folk. Hey! hey. Over here! Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys. Hey. Hey. You're not gonna like what you see, buddy. Yup. Yup. Those fish are dead. Dead. <laughs> He's still in his helmet. Man. Yeah, man, aren't you on... Isn't it kind of hard to breathe in that helmet? Uh... <gasps> Uh, this okay, a he's a full-on sociopath. You think so? Oh! Oh no! Oh no! It's because their perspective. So intense from this lamp. Tell me about it. There's like some weird body horror stuff in this. I don't even think we're gonna be able to save ourselves, buddy. Oh. This is disturbing. Or at least they die together. Shell City. We never made it to Shell City. Shell City. <laughs> Marine gifts and sundries. Shell City is a gift shop, but if this is Shell City... Then where's the crown? <laughs> crown. Oh, for seven only dollars. seven bucks? <laughs> All right. We did make it. Yeah. I guess we did. This is horrifying. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. <gasps> the tears can loosen them up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, the music. I can't imagine watching this in the theater. And being a child, being like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. Trippy. Wow, that tear can really move. Okay, I mean, the tears do something, but I didn't think he was going to do this. Oh, it's like a, a defibrillator. Shock him back to life? Nope, okay. But they're dried out. Ah, uh, sprinkler. Enough. Okay, all right. Get back up, SpongeBob and Patrick. Come on. Yay! Ready? One, two, three. Hey, How are they gonna? Oh. Oh. Oh! Yeah, now they're all coming back to life because of the agua. Is that what's happening? You're in trouble now, Cyclops. I don't think that's what's happening. No? Okay. Someone just. Oh my yeah, god, you're yeah. right! Yeah! Ha <laughs> Taste your own medicine, man. Point bag away from home. Okay. Plant feet firmly on ground. Right. Step three. <laughs> remove string from bag, releasing the winds. Church. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? Now you're really going to be have to come a man and find your way back home with the crown. You oh, got to put in the work. To bikini bottom now. I can take you there. <laughs> no way. Oh, man. Baywatch. Oh, my God. It's oh, actually David Hasselhoff. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> huh. Next stop, bikini bottom. <laughs> Guess who's here? <laughs> you go, like asshole. A, a full on, like, what, dolphin now? It's like a boat. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, interesting. What? If we run now, we'll never stop. Yeah, Patrick. Oh, man. 
<laughs> I love how this is uh, happening on David Hasselhoff's uh, body. Fun at party. Huh? Nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no. Gosh, he Not on Hasselhoff. Survive. Not in his foot. Oh. Oh, nice. But we'll never be able to float down in time. Initiating launch sequence. Oh. Oh my goodness. You see that? <laughs> the control. What? Ew. <laughs> the control. Ten seconds to lift off. Uh -huh. Nine. Eight. <laughs> to fry. No. Yeah. One. <laughs> wow, David Hasselhoff. Looking pretty good You're for his good, age. Hasselhoff. You done? No. No, not David. My beautiful crown. I knew you could do it. <laughs> my parade shall be quite dry under my umbrella. Uh, oh no. Oh, no, my no. Oh boy. I'm an evil genius, and you're just a, a kid. <laughs> so mean. They're really not nice under the sea. I made it to Shell City, and I beat the Cyclops, and I rode the Hasselhoff, and I brought the crown back. <laughs> oh my gosh, can singing get them out of mind control? I'm. Hey, settle down. I'm, Take it easy. I'm, what the scallop? What? Oh. <laughs> uh, what? Oh my god. People definitely do drugs and see this movie. This is the most unexpected thing in the world. Kids, you say when you say I'm a kid, I say, say it again. Oh, and then I say, oh boy. Uh, yes. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> uh, this is insane. It's the wizard who saved us. Out of my way, fool. Stomp on him. Yay. Karma, man. May I say, sir, you are a very lucky fellow to have in your employ such a brave, faithful, and heroic young lad. He's a great man. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm on it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I ever doubted you. That's a mistake I won't make again. Make him manager. I think we all know who rightfully deserves to wear that manager pin. I couldn't agree more, sir. Oh my god, Squidward's coming around for him too. Manager! This is the greatest day of my life! Wow, All what right. a journey. Okay. Is that what the series is like? Does it go into like where you're like on a trip? Like a like a trip. So do you follow John Mulaney's career at all? Uh kind of. Well, John Mulaney was on drugs. And then he got sober, and his latest stand-up special deals a lot with him being sober for the past year or whatever. Okay. This kind of comedy feels like what it's like when John Mulaney is probably on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. There's a lot of the sensibilities, the, the dialogue, the humor. Seem like a guy who's on a very specific kind of drug. Yeah. <laughs> Two Definitely to be the exact. Mushrooms or acid, right? <laughs> yeah. Or, or With a no. little bit of sniffity sniffy stuff. Yeah. So trying to watch some stuff for kids, but we've said enough. But yeah, that is uh I was not prepared. Me neither. I did not realize that it really would turn into certain parts where you if you've been to Disneyland, the end of the rides are just like this. The dark moments in this movie here. What is happening here? Oh, is this like some post? Okay, oh, right. no. I literally just finished watching the Little Mermaid live action mm. movie. And now? Talked about it extensively. 
Then five minutes later, like Tara showed up while I was filming that. So I did. I showed up five he minutes. He unlocked later. the door for me from his phone. And then, I, and then we're like, "All right, Tara, let's watch SpongeBob," which was another under the sea experience. Mm -hmm. Quite it an adventure. It was Scarlett Johansson. That yeah, was Baldwin see, as I knew Dennis. It. Okay. I knew it. And then. I experienced this, which was a drastically different under the sea experience. And I was like, I did not know this is how SpongeBob SquarePants works. Me neither. I mean, it was, it was fun, but I was also, I feel like not prepared. No. I feel like I needed to be on a little something, right? Like there are some really funny moments though. There, no, like, no, I mean, don't get it's wrong. hilarious. Yeah. But I'm saying like when it cuts into certain songs and certain parts, I feel like people are laughing the entire time. If you have a little help, well, the comedy right? is nonstop. That's what I mean. It, like twenty, it, it never it, breathes for this yeah, anything serious. Like, do you feel like that sometimes with that? Like you get a little worn. It's out? a little over. It's it's a little overwhelming. Like I can't laugh jokes. that much. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's, it's a little overwhelming. And then you become a little like um, desensitized to it because it just it 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 keeps going. It keeps going. Yeah. It keeps going. And then. I don't often say this word for anything. It truly is random. Yeah. There is no rhyme or reason to it. Nope. And the show, if I'm not mistaken, is 22 minutes an episode. Okay. This is under a little under 80. Yeah. It's a very different experience than a 22 minute chunk, right? For sure. Yeah. I mean, there were some hilarious moments pretty much from beginning to end. There was something and it was, don't get me wrong, it's very creative. It feels like a writer's room full of people who like take a little something, something, and then they just spit out random ideas and yeah. piece it together. <laughs> you know? I was thinking that when I was watching, I was like, this script, well, how did it get approved? It's not like... I mean, it is the way that they put it all together with these characters. It works. But like on the page, I was thinking like, was nobody like, we should make this more like add in more stuff or do more bait and switches. But I'm like, oh, with the character set, it like it works perfectly, I wanna even though I haven't seen. I want to see what the Rotten Tomatoes score is. Oh, man, I would love to know. Okay. 68% approved. Okay. And the audience score 78%. It's really goofy and entertaining for both children and, and their adults. parents. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Surreal is a good one for it. Surreal. Yeah. Yes. This was surreal. It was trippy. It was psychedelic. Yeah. It was um, kinetic. Uh, and there's, I, there, there is ultimate, there is a story at the end of the day. <laughs> I can't say there's no story. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, Believe in yourself. But it doesn't. It's been a while since I've seen a movie where they, they don't even attempt to take anything seriously. It's kind of no. crazy. Like they don't take anything seriously. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Even even uh, Mindy. Mindy was kind of the only one who was like, even though it sounded sometimes sarcastic when she would talk was the the only one who was slightly serious about like dad stop all this killing and yeah. listen to me she was the only sound one that was like i'll help you do this um uh, otherwise everyone else was just like on a limb well yeah i mean uh even in her scenes though it was there was constantly like just i'm saying there's not once one scene in here right there's there's something even if it's like they're dying on the lamp thing like there's some comedy happening at yes, all times at all times uh yeah it's a bit overwhelming mm -hmm. and i feel like i feel like spongebob's eyes right now where i'm like whoa i was not prepared for this yeah. for this trip <laughs> that we went on me neither but it was there but it was constantly have something though where Every once in a while, I would be like, that is freaking hysterical. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I agree with that. I just couldn't laugh the entire time. I don't know that I necessarily wanted to because it was all I was like, always pretty amused. funny. But like, I was always like, oh, this is fun. I was always amused. There was, yeah. I mean, admittedly, there would be times where I was a little annoyed. Yeah. Only because like, I don't know SpongeBob and uh, my brain was not ready for this. Right. And so once in a while, I, I would be annoyed. 
But then it, I, I, I would suddenly be like, oh, now I'm laughing. Because <laughs> yeah. he has to grow on you. I feel like these, the both of the characters. And the, uh, when it really grew on me, when I really was like, oh, okay, I understand it, is when he was drunk. When he, and he yes. shows up drunk, he's like, I'll tell you what's wrong. Then I was like, oh, okay, I get that. That's very, very funny. And now I understand the characters a little bit better in that moment for me. I was surprised by how sometimes there would be like some ser- like true adult humor. Not yeah. just like, oh, these are jokes adults would get. Like, no, this is straight up like a lot of this is like crass Only humor. Adult. Yeah. A, li- a little bit vulgar. Yeah. Um, you know, like the, the him like hung over jokes or. Yeah, even, even or when him the villain, reading the, the, villain, the, reading the <laughs> that was really yeah, funny. Yeah. That was that was great. <laughs> yeah, they had that moment. It 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 would it would fluctuate between um between these moments, and so yeah, it, I think it's not just adjusting to the character, but adjusting to the style because the character is all representative of the style. Yeah, you know? um, I liked I liked the Squidward character. I was like, oh, I feel like he he would have helped balance out some of this energy because he's like the one who lives in the most reality. Yeah, if he would have been in it more, right? Yeah, like been in, incorporated in it. Um, if he was on the journey with them. Yeah, or if he was like this manager job is too is like too overwhelming for him, so he decides to go try and find them on the like the oh yeah. after. <laughs> uh, okay. All righty. Okay. I, I thought something was going to happen there at the end. This there. Tie around bit was fun. Just slowly, slowly exit. Um, oh, and I also really like the, I, I love, I think there's a lot of great things about the editing and the, the way they just like smash the things that have just this great visual comedy elements yeah. throughout. Like the visual comedy can be really strong in here. And for an anime, if for an animation, instead of like, sometimes you watch these animated movies that are, can be annoying for people where the comedy is really reliant on like stupid pop culture jokes or whatever yeah this is physical it's all physical yeah there's yeah. there's almost something leslie nielsen about it and me leslie nielsen meets like naked gun meets like a family guy uh-huh um meets like a cartoon network show <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah there's a lot of different uh elements to it but it's I mean, like the smash cuts to their reactions were really funny it was mostly them being like silent yeah. and wide-eyed and they're like uh and that yeah. that was like the one relief that I was like, that's very, very that's funny. And it's also giving us one second where they're not constantly talking or trying to like make us laugh, I guess, with the dialogue. Yeah. Which was cool. Yeah, but uh SpongeBob grew on me over time. Even Patrick, who I thought was really frustrating at first, eventually became like he had some really funny moments. Yeah. Uh overall, yeah. I mean Are uh, we dead? I liked when every time he hit like he always had three words like are we there? <laughs> like, are we dead? Which I really enjoy. I would like to watch the first episode of the show. Yeah, and just then be to like, see. all right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I bet you, if you watch the whole series, these two guys really grow on you because you have only twenty two minutes. You don't have to like, not have to, but you're not sitting through eighty minutes of like an adventure with them. I think in short bursts, these two will really really grow on you well if you already have seen the show like this has five stars at a 7.2 so clearly the, the fans of the show like this. they love but, it yeah because if this um it was like i liked it i can't say i loved it even though there were some jokes yeah. that i lo- absolutely loved um because yeah I, people who already watched the show they already know they're already emotionally they already are like the characters they already love everyone yeah, exactly. And then they're watching the sh- then they're watching the movie. Whereas I'm like, cold, man. Hey, this is an introduction. Like I've seen stuff of Squidward in the past of, of like little things people have posted, and like I can't really tell you anything about SpongeBob. I've seen like things, but I- nothing that was like character defining traits of him. And and I was aware. I've I've heard of Krusty Krab. I didn't know that it was a place that SpongeBob worked at, mm-hmm. and I've heard the song. Um, so. That was my familiarity I is very limited. Know any you didn't of know those jack things jack about it. Okay. Yeah. But this was uh it was like, okay, now I understand some of these references I've heard, and then you didn't know anything. No. So as newbies, yeah. This was our honest take on it throughout. Honest hot take. 
but, um, huh. Any last words? I'm brain fried right now. This yeah. is really, it's really, I want to talk more, but I'm a, also, my brain is fried. I feel like I, I went I through shock therapy. That's why I kept drinking water. I was yeah. like, I need to keep my I, eyes open and be registering everything my, they're saying. My, my eyes are really wide open right now. There's some really great visuals too. There's great visual panache. And I liked like Hasselhoff showing up. I thought like the, oh, commi- that was great. the commitment of it and the creepiness. And there was like body horror elements yeah, at times like too. The, the peck smash that into was the disturbing. water. That the, was great. Then there's something about the SpongeBob world that reminds me of like I'm a big fan, I'm a fan of HP Lovecraft who a lot of his world is like humanoid fish people and a lot of that reminded me of this but like a parody spoof version of it. So that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> so that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> So this review has been us trying to understand what SpongeBob SquarePants is and being like, what? I feel like we just got hit with like a gust of wind in a car. Mean, like, you guys, what can... happened? <laughs> the hair is like <laughs> it's blasted back. Our <laughs> eyes are wide open and red, and we're just shaking. Uh, yeah, like is... we just watched the SpongeBob movie and we knew nothing about it going in. That's us. That was wild. Yeah, you guys will leave a comment. Let us know what what you think, what you thought, if you've watched all the episodes, why we are terrible people for not. And um, because we would love to hear uh, all about it. Um, And what do I say for the patrons? Uh, We could just send it. I need a shower or something now. What we what? I'm gonna shower off my brain. I need okay, to my brain. We're gonna out. go shower off our brains. We're gonna shower separately. <laughs> yeah, not not together. And we'll see you guys later. That's it from us. Bye.